Hello. Thank you for watching this short video which captures the last five and a half years of my life doing my PhD, uh, which looked at the interaction of hip and foot biomechanics in the presentation and management of patellofemoral pain. Uh, I hope you enjoy. My PhD thesis consisted of three streams that were concluded with a feasibility trial. The first of these streams looked at outcome predictors and for this we completed a systematic review that was published in Sports Medicine. I then completed a reliability study looking at a battery of different clinical measures. Within the second stream of the PhD a systematic review was completed looking at the effectiveness of proximal muscle rehabilitation in the management of patellofemoral pain. This review was published within the BGSM and demonstrated gaps within the evidence regarding the specificity of exercise prescription. We subsequently went on and developed a study that looked at the muscle activation within the hip during specific rehabilitation exercises. The conclusion of these two streams of my PhD was that predictors of outcome are in their early stages of development exercise interventions are poorly defined and the mechanisms of effect are poorly understood. What we did find was that rehabilitation directed at the hip is effective in those with patellofemoral pain and that hip and quadriceps rehabilitation combined results in superior short and long-term outcomes. The final stream of my PhD looked at the immediate biomechanical effects of orthoses in a population with patellofemoral pain. During this study we got participants completing a step-up task with and without an orthosis. The results of this study were published within clinical biomechanics and demonstrated changes within peak hip adduction and peak knee internal rotation as well as changes in glute knee amplitude. The results of these three streams led to a two-arm feasibility trial being completed. The outcome of a biomechanical lab-based assessment determined the tailored intervention. Those with an identified proximal deficit received a proximal intervention. Those with a distal intervention received an orthoses and quadriceps intervention. The outcome of these interventions were compared back in the biomechanical lab. The conclusions of these studies were that orthoses interventions induced biomechanical changes throughout the kinetic chain and that an eight-week biomechanically tailored randomised trial is feasible. I hope that you've enjoyed this whistle-stop tour of my PhD. Thanks for listening.